Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we'll be continuing with the career guidance series that we have recently started. You can connect with us on Instagram and share your query with us related to the career, related to any technical guidance, any guidance related to the software testing. If you are looking for any guidance related to switching from non-IT to IT or related to career gap if you are looking then uh, we'll be covering and don't worry the names will be kept as anonymous so that if any other person is having a similar kind of query then they will also come to know and no one will be feeling embarrassed so let's look into today's query okay so the question is hi sir i have a six years of experience in manual device testing want to move to automation but in my current project no scope for automation could you please suggest which course need to prefer for automation please guide me thanks in advance so this is a question which is related to the switching from manual testing to automation testing right there are two things either uh, in your current company i'm not saying current project okay the automation has been done okay second option is in your current company there is no scope of automation okay so there are two aspects of uh, this question okay so the person is telling that uh, he wants to move to automation but in my current project, there is no scope for automation. So one of the option is either you will have to switch your project. You will have to you know, request the hiring manager or you will have to request your team lead, QA lead that uh, I'm interested to move to automation. So please move me into the different project. Now there are very less possibility that the QA lead gets convinced because if someone is having more years of experience, right? And you are working in a service based company with a kind of a billing being done, right? You are a billable resource in a QA project working as a manual tester. Okay. current project okay then there are very less chances that they will move you because the moment they will move you they will have to search for your alternative they will have to search for your replacement and there are chances that billing might get impacted for example including you earlier five members were getting built as soon as you will be moved to the another project four members will be built so that would be a cost to the company that will be the cost to the organization so the organization or the company or you can say the management will never ever do that right <laughs> so now the next option is you work in your current project itself but on fridays or on the time period when the workload is less in your current project you can have a good networking, have a good relation with the uh, automation team who is already there in your company, who is already working on a real-time project in your organization. And you can get some framework from them. You can get an automation framework. You can download it on your machine and you can use it further. That is the second option, right? But again, the problem here is, is it possible that you get a less workload in an IT company, right? There are times when you will be running always, you know, 24, 7, 365, you are running in an IT company. You are always allocated some work. You are always assigned some work. So what you can do is you can take the automation framework from them and you can download it in your machine. You can explore it on weekends saturdays and sundays okay this is the second option if the second option is also not working okay then the last option is that you can try to learn 
the automation try to explore the automation by yourself please suggest which course need to prefer for automation so there is you you won't be able to you know learn that much to that level via course with respect to if you explore something before learning the automation or before going for course see which programming language you are comfortable with are you comfortable with java are you comfortable with python which is the programming language you are comfortable with if you are not comfortable with any of the programming language then learn that programming language first especially oops concept right then arrays then strings right for loop while loop right data types all these things you will have to learn first and then you can go for selenium automation okay again in automation there are two kinds of options one is the open source automation tool which is selenium okay and that is widely used another options are the paid tools that are available in the market for example catlon studio is there right so many other paid tools are also there which one you are willing to learn from my point of view it is good to learn for selenium because that is an open source tool and that is widely used because i have hardly seen any companies doing uh, you know investment in kind of uh, the testing oriented tools and technologies right in case of development they'll be doing the investment but in case of testing the chances are very less so and selenium is actually a reliable tool that is an evergreen tool that has been used widely in the market so learn selenium first for that you don't need any course you can take any website such as amazon.com or flipkart.com any e-commerce website you can take or any other banking website you can take and you can try to automate it first try to automate it without any framework okay just play with the uh, relative xpath locators and just see the scripts are running fine then try to create a framework there are lot many videos available on youtube with the help of which you can learn by yourself okay you can learn various frameworks like data driven framework keyword driven framework bdd is there so so many things are there you can learn by yourself right but if you have to move to automation you will have to take out time and you will have to practice doing coding you will have to practice writing code you will have to practice answering interview questions that are related to the java or selenium right so you will you should be having good hands on experience because 6 years of experience is not less so considering that number of years of experience you would be expected to do more in automation once you have a grip on it right so if you are learning automation by yourself learn it with full dedication and give 100% commitment to it because it is something which would need practice it is not a rocket science it is not something that is not possible it is doable but it would need time right you will have to allocate your time during your you know weekends or whenever you are available free time on week in your weekdays then also you can learn that so it is very important that you do it so uh, this was the question from one of the subscriber who had asked us this query in the instagram right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates thank you